My name is Clementine Anonyalom. For four years now, Tadim Bido Bobam Nanon and Mommy. Ah, Nambo Mommy. That's easy, they're going to marry. If any neighbor shall go, a labor mini camera can you with a Nanke Chile Green and Mili. No more than a Yaha Gaziaga, Nandoya. And see Anna Ilotesqua, if you were and was I know that. No need what I know, no Sanambo, more Mili. A Siana deliver him, no, no money for him, please you. Is your husband here? Oh, no, I'm going to call him. Oh, I see Call your husband. Baby. Oh, continue which bank were you working then I'm with the FTMB. So that means you can speak English, use English. Yes. So English. I was working in FCMB then. So he told me that I should abuse them and leave the work. I said no. Your husband said you should abuse the, the bank and lose the work. And yes. Why and did he want you to he want me to join the business? Okay. And I say, even I'm going to leave the business, it's not by cursing them because this is where we were feeding before you get to that level. So after said and done, that was when I had my second baby. That very day I delivered my first baby was the first day he, uh, his first container came in. So he met two of his friends that was working with him in the office then, in his own office, to meet me that I must resign. The word they said to me that they made me to go back to work and resign. They say if anything happens to his business, they will hold me responsible. I have no choice than to go to bank and sign in my resignation letter and join the business. When I came here, I saw the way things were going on. Even in the office, he humiliates me. I keep quiet. When in he, office, his office. Yeah, his own office. If he co does come into the office, I will greet him. He will not even show any sign that he is my husband. The next thing he will do is to go and hug his says girl. I will keep quiet. So one day, I say, the God I serve will vindicate me. He will be hugging the girlfriend in your presence. In my presence. Says girl, sorry. He says girl. I will just keep quiet and go back. When we finish everything, I will go back to the house. I said that one day, he will tell me the truth. So there is a day he called me that this same girl invited him somewhere. I say yes, that the truth is coming out. That what I'm seeing, my eyes is not deceiving me. After all that has gone. He started having problems with the white man. But after that, he started his own, as in the branded, um, these torch lights that he was bringing, he started his own. So we continue. Sometimes when he wants to go wrong, I will call him. I will tell him, this thing you want to do, is not, don't do it the way others are doing it because your destiny is different from others. If others do it and you do it, you might not go free. Please don't do it. He will accept. Before you know it, he will go behind me and do what he wants to do. And the next thing is that 
he will have issue in that business. That's when he will not come back to me. And I say, I told you, you are a covenant child. You are different from others. Don't do the things the way others are doing it. Because if you do it, you, it will fail. So after all these things, he now let her have problems. Sometimes when they bring money, I must tell you the truth, he normally has favor. But I will tell him, don't do wrong things so that that thing will stay long. But he will refuse. At the time, when I see how the business was going, I tried to hold one part of the business. That is money transfer to China. My husband went behind me, took the money that people brought to release his container. I told him, these people that are bringing money, you don't know how their money is coming from. Wait, he will not wait. Before you know it, he will have problem. So at the end of the day, he now has issue in his problem. The next thing was that I will, I will still be struggling. That was there, I almost threw myself from the window. I said, no. That the God I serve will not fail me. That was when I picked up all reframe business and started doing it. All the people that were running after him, they will come. I will always be with him. So that was how that business grew a bit. The next thing, one of the person he was having issue, now locked him up in area E. I joined him there. Even in uh, Panty, they've locked him up there. Anywhere they locked him, I will always be there and be pleading with them that the issue he's having is not normal problem, that it has to do with spiritual problem because even both the people that are from occultic and all sorts of people gave him money when we started looking for money that we did not spend. But my pain is that even following him, following him in his trouble, he now turned against me. That I am from Marine Spirit. That uh, I'm the one that cage his money in, uh, in water. I begin to wonder. I called him. So some person told you I'm this. He said yes. That that is when he knew that I'm from Marine spirit i told him my hand is clean he now, the one that just happened on tuesday last week was made me that was that is what that made me to say i'll be here so that the church would declare me mommy or if my hand it's, is clean it's okay i hear you i am bring microphone give okay hear what your wife says stop crying woman what do you have to say concerning what she's saying crying she said you are calling her mommy and you are directly accusing her for that she's responsible in the downfall in the business and you are hugging your sex girl in her presence all those things she said what do you have to say about it okay let me start from the first one she mentioned concerning the business. When I wanted to marry her, a, a lot of message came that I should not marry her. A particular brother said that I should not marry her. Calm she, down, calm down, calm down. A particular calm. brother that was living with me said that I should not marry her, that I will not be able to carry what what I will see. And now to the person, because I, I am this kind of person I don't believe before in such things. I told her if she's if she has a spiritual problem, I believe that God can deliver anybody that has a spiritual problem. Then we got married. Then she was working in the bank. And the, her, her place of office was at Lekki. So before you know it, God opened up for me. I traveled to China. I met a, a Chinese person. We started business. I now told her that Just straight to the points of yes, the problem. I, 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 I told her to come out that my business is so big now that what they are paying you, I will be able to pay you. She said no. I bought her a car. I persuaded her she came out. Then when she came out, 
Immediately she joined me, not up to one month, things started crumbling. The Chinese woman one day just came that she is not interested again, that my wife is too strong. I want to convert the business to family business. I said, what does my wife have to do with the business I have with you? She fought me. Then we ended. Then I look at the whole thing. Now she's not working and the business is crumbling. I now use the money, part of my own money. I built a house where we are living. I said, let this one be the one at least to make sure I have shelter for me and my fa and family. The business continue. To go straight to the point, the one you said, we've married for 12 years. And there's so many places, even the sign is there, but I still did not have it in my heart or thought. For three years now, I have been out of business because it, it came to a, a point. The, the debt was so much, so much over many people. So I said, let me come back to my, myself and know where this problem is coming from. Police case from here and, and there. Three good years. They have not for one day asked me, which, what are you doing now? Which business are you doing? Then, to be honest, I started going for prayers. I started going for prayers. Everywhere I go, they would tell me my wife has a kind of spirit that I need to go and do sacrifice. I went to a particular, a particular place. After telling me that, I came out from that man's place. I said, I never believe in this thing. If this case will make me not to be rich again, so be it. But I cannot take because of what I don't know to go and do sacrifice or all or, 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 or anything and that one apart i don't want to delve into the physical aspect of it i came here not too long i i joined in this hundred days fasting purposely because of her case i say god if you can solve this case for me that is the only thing i i i need i even called the brother last week this particular thing is what I, I wanted to tell the brother. If the brother would beg her to come to this place, I was shocked when I saw her today. In fact, I was very happy because this is the only thing I think I have as a problem. It's not business. The whole business will come in to go. Even the sign is there. The way she attacked me. If the spirit enter her, I can't even look at her. She will be attacking me. She will be I take her out now. Before I move from here to here, she will start attacking me. How? How did she attack you? Like she will ask me to take her to a, a place. Her own business. Yo. Before I drive from here to that gate. Correct. Not once, not twice. And that made me to say that I will not take her out like everywhere I go, they say she has a spiritual husband, even she's manifesting it. That made me to start even giving it a thought. In the house, she's, she has already started turning my children at, against me, telling them that their father does not bring money for food again. Brother, for the past since this year, I have not ate in my house. Eh? Yes, since this year she's not given me food. Since this year, I have not ate in my house. I traveled last year. I spent three months. I purposely stayed at Asabatosi. If if she would call me, she did not call me for one day. Three good months. Three months. Yes. She did not call you. Yes. And she has not given you food since this year. Since this year. And the, in fact me i have decided i've i've decided that the marriage is because of my children i will bear whatever i am seeing for my children if not for my children maybe even i decided to leave the house my home house for her to take care of the children but people started telling me that my children are too young that if i don't if i'm not there to take care of them
if I'm not there to give them the fatherly training, what will become of order, them? Order, order, order. Okay. Woman, your husband says you have not given him food since this year. Brother, brother, I'll tell you how it happens. Have you given him food since this year? I do. Even the one, the very day he entered the house, because that was the time, October last year, he left us, me and the children. He dropped 3,000 naira that he's going to Asaba. I called him. Is that how you go to Asaba? We slept in the same house. You did not discuss you are going out. That was my first time to drop money back to him. Hold your money. When he dropped the money, he told me that the son of his auntie will be the one that will be giving us money. And that very day, I said, I will not call him because all the time he's traveling, is that same day he's traveling, he will tell me that he's traveling. I will, not, I will be the one calling him. Where are you? Even uh, at 10 o'clock in the night, that was when he would not tell me, I'm just arriving now. I will say, thank God for safe trip. And he will never call back again to ask me of the care of the children. So that very Sunday that he was leaving, he said that uh, Emmanuel was the name of the boy, that uh, he will be the one giving us money to feed. I dropped the money back to him and said, I am not taking this money. Go. That's a man that will be so, giving you money. Yes. So when he left, the brother, I called the brother to ask him his uh, health. He started asking me of him. I told him, I'm not here to discuss about him. That he left also so the and he never asked of us again. I don't want to discuss that with you. He now said, okay. His siblings normally come to my house and when they come, they will tell me the way they will discuss shows that they know where their brother is. So I will not keep quiet. At the time I want to call his mother, I said no. If I call his mother to tell him that I've not seen my husband for a month now, that she might fall sick, and if anything happens to her, they will say I'm the one. Give so somebody a high time. And I keep it to myself and keep quiet. So it was during Christmas time on 21st of December. He now called me that I am traveling the next day. And I said, traveling the next day, I'm not prepared. He said, I must go. To where? I, to East. Whether I like it or not, and he doesn't want my nonsense. And I said, okay. So that very day I was making the children hair. And I came back around 10 p.m. So when we came... I was packing the children's uh, thing that we are going to use to go home. Pick all the crayfish and the uh, Maggie and other things that I bought that we are using at home. Straight to the point, straight to the point. So when we traveled home, I never knew he discussed with the sister that he's grateful now. That is the same man she was telling you that, he was telling you that told him that I'm from Marine Kingdom. That man married that lady for seven years and grateful her. So when I came, I never knew he discussed anything with her that she should took me to the church where they will say what he was saying. So the sisters told me, and that was my first time to talk to my mother-in-law that this is what I'm passing through for 12 years. She now said, ah, whosoever that did this or this, that is, she never did any bad to anybody. Who did this to her? I kept quiet. That was when the sister now called me that I'm going to escort her somewhere. I said, no problem, I will. She now said that it's something she would tell me that she doesn't want the mother to hear. I said, no problem. But because I'm not interested in what she wants to tell me, okay. what I'm interested is where I'm taking her to. Behold, it was a church. So when I get there, it was where they are praying. I enter. But when we came back, after said and done, they said all the things they said there. When we came back, the sister told me that the God has vindicated me. That what my husband told her, was not what they said there because while they were praying, they called me out and said that somebody turned my, my face this way and my husband's face this way. That this family, I built it very well. How did I allow myself to be used to? 
as in okay. my face. Okay. So after said and done, when we came back, the sister said, I am vindicated. Immediately my husband called came in. He was asking her, what did they tell me? The sister said, ask your wife. Call your wife and ask her so that she can tell you what they told her there. He never made that call to today. But after all said and done in the village, the, the sister and the mother told me I should forget the past and move on with my life. I said, no problem. On getting back to Lagos, I was surprised my husband was calling the boy that was staying with us, asking him, have they paid my son's school fees? And that day I was seeing him off. The money I used to pay his school fees was the money somebody sent to me for Christmas. And one of my co-wives sent also money. I kept that money. I used it to pay the school fees. So when the sister called me for the second time, that he's supposed to be back in Lagos, I told her, I've not seen him often now. She said I should call him. I said no. That you people told me I should forget everything, which I did. But to my greatest surprise, instead of him to call me to ask, how do this boy go back to school? He was calling that boy. I'm not going to call him. So, Oga, why are you calling the boy instead of your wife? Give somebody a high turn. Give him food. Okay. This is the boy that was living with me. That morning, when I was traveling, I called her. I told her I was going to Asaba. That it was an emergency. Okay, do you want peace with your wife? Yes, sir. Give your wife a microphone. Woman, do you want peace? I need peace so that I can have, I can have joy. Ah, okay, Oga. Take the microphone. Everywhere you go, you say they tell you she's um, a wanja. Huh? Yes. And she's the cause of your problem. Hmm? Yes, sir. Did you make the money before you married her? Or since she came, the business now... Is it not after you marry her that the business boom? Before you asked her to withdraw from the bank where she was working? Yes. Huh? Yes, sir. So that Obanje could not stop... Could not stop you to make that money. It's now... Obanje will not stop when she come to shop. But if somebody is sleeping with... That time the money is coming, are you not making love with her? I was. Yeah? Yes. You do what? I was. Uh huh. You were making love with that, that man when the money was coming. Uh huh. Yeah. So if a boy in jail could not stop you, could not stop you from making money when two of you are together, she was working in a bank and the boy in jail did not stop. Is it now when she now came to chop? Trouble happens when it happens. Eh? I was the one that raised the money uh, that he used to travel for his first time in China. Obanje did not stop her from raising money for you. Oga, Oga one thing you should know is that uh, nobody is perfect in this life. If your wife is together, supporting you appreciate her the time you have not gone to china your wife hustle gave you some money other women can do it she supported you started traveling to china money come at the time it now become that she is the one authority yeah the real name Even one, uh, one of the brothers that knows him very well came to tell him about this case. He told him, did you know your level when you married this girl? That you will make money and everything will vanish. But since you married this girl, you build a house, you drive different cars. How come she's from Marine Kingdom? It's okay, don't worry. Or are you ready for it's not good to be breaking the heart of those that are struggling encourage your wife even if she ha have problem with the marine is it marine you know you, ha. i see marine or no marine you have to appreciate your wife woman it's not good to close your heart for three months you will not call your husband two runs cannot make a right eh? 
It's not. He said he bought a car for you. He bought a car for me when things we are go uh, we are okay. Even that car before he bought it, that car brought me pains. At the end, he wanted to use my brother's car to take Koratara. I said no, take this car back and go for the Koratara instead of you cr crashing my brother's side. Even brother wait. Wait. Even when he took my brother to China, he deviated my brother's money to his this thing. I'm still the one when I noticed that the thing involved other people that are not my family. I liquidate my pension account to pay it off. There is nothing I have not done to keep my family. But he goes on breaking my heart. It's okay. Give somebody a high ten. Brother, I I don't I don't want to defend myself because Yes. My 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 greatest miracle today is that God has brought her to this place. That is my great, greatest okay, miracle. Okay, do you love your wife? Yes. Very well. Yes. I hope that says girl is not in your shop again. Good. I don't have anything with that says girl. Yeah, but, but hugging her in the presence of your wife. No. All depends on the hug anyway. No. It's okay. See. It's okay. No problem. Don't go there. See. No go there. That don't go what there. I'm saying. I, I, I tell your wife because she's one ca crying. Tell her that you are sorry. Well, Mike, see her need to sorry. Why? Eh? Repentance. If we repent, can people know I go one and we go two? Eh? All your government keys is in. I'm going now. He's total repentance. Okay. My greatest miracle will when you come from woman, yeah. which state do you come from? Nimo, Nimo, Anambra. Okay, no problem. I'm going to see you back. Okay, sorry. I'm going to talk to you. 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 I'm going to talk to Debokanisi What is that name normally call her? Baby. Baby. Woman, what do you normally call him? Baby. Baby. Why you here? I'm here. 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 This is a woman that supports the husband. So she supports the husband. Nobody can be perfect. If we dig deep now. The woman can definitely have her own fault. 
but at least she's making sacrifice. Yeah. You asked her to resign from the bank. She resigned. She's a sacrifice. Sister, I forgive him. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, my darling, give me water. Oh, my darling, my, my darling. I will never leave you. This I will be so loving you. Oh my darling, I am a millionaire. I am I am a a Madame Deba, Deba, ce que c'est là. Why can't you forgive now? Do you want to carry Obimbawa to go? Eh? I've done that. You have not done that. Go see. If I if in this marriage, no. Woman. I've done that. Eh? I've done that. You have not done that. Do you know since you marry him, you have also have offended him in one way or the other? Do you know that? Eh? I know. There is no how a husband and wife, two of them can say, since I married this man, I've never done anything bad to him. I understand him and I understand you. I know why I asked him to beg you because you are you are struggling. You love him. You have his interests at heart, but you must forgive and forget so that new life will start from this moment. Hmm? Eh? Let me cry my heart. You want to cry your heart? I'm gonna not tell her, baby. Tell her, I'm here behind your baby. Oh my God! I will never Oh my God! I will never leave you. Oh my God! I will never Oh sweet, na yobia. I'm a mobia bo wala ngi ma yobia. Yobia ofuma. Oh he na lota na wine. Ngugo. Oh ye to yata ki u to yata ni gwere. Oh my darling, I will never leave you. Home. I will keep on loving you. Till the end. Oh ngugo. Marriage bu ngugo. Baptiste. 
Is it no lawyer? We have entered the last 40 days of 100 days, right? Yes, sir. So this last 40 days is very... It's very special and it's very serious. Uh, that is why I am happy that the whole thing happening is happening when we are doing 100 days. God is being glorified. The kingdom of Satan is shaking all over the world. People don't know what is happening. The kingdoms are troubled. There is fire coming from here. The world, do you know, when John the Baptist was in the prison, he sent message to Jesus. He sent message to his apostle to go and ask Jesus, are you the one or we should expect the person? Another. And Jesus replied to him and said, go and tell John that the blind can see now. Dumb can speak. The good news are being preached to the people. And that is what is happening today in Zion ministry. The good news are being preached to the people. <laughs> Kahamala neti timbani ne di ngoba bweze di ngoba bweze di ngoba bweze. Program you bring them to me. You mean why? Don't worry, everything will be okay. It's already okay. Through forgiveness heals. Through forgiveness, open doors. Through forgiveness, make a way where there is no way. May the Lord bless you and favor you in Jesus' holy name. Please, we have only one person, and that will be the last for today. <laughs>